What is up guys? Welcome back to uh, Plurk's Garage. I'm gonna head over to Mike's house and uh, we're gonna go work on the GS. Alright, so I just got here at Mike's house, but first things first, coffee. So we're gonna go ahead, pull off the valve covers, pull off this crank pulley, pull off the front timing cover, pull off the timing belt, and hopefully we can get this head off today. <laughs> today. Let's hit this time lapse. Alright, so we got the valve covers off and look at that milky goodness of oil and coolant mixing. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully that head's not cracked. Okay, ran through a snag. I forgot to bring a size 22 impact socket, so tried using a 12.78 and uh, it's not working. So, we're gonna focus on getting the head off and we're gonna cut this fucking timing belt. <laughs> well, he's gonna cut the timing belt. I'm not gonna cut it because it's not my car. <laughs> and he's using a vape wire cutter. Nice. Wonderful. Lovely. Yes. You have a tensioner, right? The timing belt came with a tensioner. I'm just asking. We'll find out. Too late. It's cut.
All right, all right, all right. Anyways, we got the head off. We got Carl, the mad scientist, helped out. Heads off, head gaskets fucked. It's raining. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, don't really know what caused the head gasket to go bad. What I'm thinking is because when we pull out the head studs, a lot of the, the head studs towards the rear of the engine or cylinders five and six was pretty easy to turn. So one can only assume that the, the head is warped from uh, like heat. And we need to figure out what caused the overheating after we get the head resurfaced. But that's basically it. So yeah. I guess we're done for today. I need to go get my 22 millimeter impact socket to pull that bitch off so I can redo the timing. But uh, this is it for, for this video. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, wash your hands and uh, be safe. Awesome.